All right, so we've got a Mitsubishi Electric. It's got a P8 volt. So first thing, let's go and check the filter. And that was it. The, when I turned the unit on, the indoor fan ran straight away and it was so loud. And as soon as I took the filter out, all that noise went away. Like it was just sucking so hard because it was nice and blocked. So I'll give that a wash. But the outdoor unit never turned on. So I've just turned the power off. I'm going to leave it off for 15 minutes to reset the fault. I'll clean that. Then we'll turn it back on. Alright, so I've reset it for 15 minutes, turned it on, and the indoor controller is flashing stand, flashing 10 degrees Celsius, and it says standby mode, so I'm not overly familiar with the Mitsubishi Electric, but I'll open this and see what the go is. Right, so the, there's power getting to the terminal block, so I've confirmed that there's power. Now I'm going to see if there's power getting to the board. Yeah, there's power getting to the board. All right, so it hasn't done anything out here and it eventually stops being on standby and it just starts flashing P8. So what I'm gonna do, because like I said, I'm not overly familiar with Mitzi, I'm going to reset it again, run it. And I just wanna see if it's sending a call to even run the compressor because from what I've read, P8, gets activated when the sensor on the indoor unit doesn't change temperature for a set amount of time so it 
basically just registers that the compressor's not running, nothing's happening, and just goes on a fault. So I just want to see if there's anything happening out here. It's got power, but it's nothing, no lights are doing anything. I want to reset it, get it to run, and see if it sends a call. And then we'll go from there. I feel like this thing is doing nothing out here. There's no lights. It's not sending any power to the contactor. So what I did was I Googled how to put this thing into a test mode. I went inside, I've put it into a test mode. The indoor fan runs, nothing out here. So what I'm gonna do is just take, some, take down some details. I'm going to make sure that the condenser fan works. I'm going to make sure that the compressor works. I'm going to find out what type of metering device it is. And then I'm going to go away from the job. I'm going to give Mitsubishi Electric a call. Go through it with their tech support. Because like, like I said, I'm not overly familiar with this brand. Um, I'll go through it with them. My feeling is that this outdoor board is dead. But I want to confirm that with the tech support. And the reason why I'm getting information about the metering device and whatever is because if it's the board and if it's not available, I'll just rip it out and put new stuff in. So that's why I'm doing that. That's my thought process. But um, if any of you guys are familiar, familiar with the Mr. Slim Mitsi Electric, let me know. Should there be lights out here regardless? I don't have the information for that because that is that is the state of the sticker like where I want to read it's, it's, um, can't read it so just let me know I know a few a lot of you guys actually run the Mitsi electrics so let me know what you guys reckon I feel like it's a board but I've got to make a few calls anyway let me know and yeah we'll go from there Just confirming that there is power going to the transformer and the transformer is putting in the correct voltage. So it should have uh, 240 volts going into it and 12.3 volts AC coming out of it into the board. So, and, that, and that's exactly what it's doing. So definitely getting the right power here before I ring them up. I just wanted to confirm that. Definitely getting the right power. It's just doing nothing outside. Okay, so fan is running perfectly because I've just hardwired it into active neutral. So I can, can confirm that works. Um, compressor runs. indoor fan runs so all the components run so yeah um, if they come back and say yeah the outdoor boards faulty which I think it is personally then if they don't have a board available I can just rip it out and put other stuff in if they want to go that route they might just want to replace it considering it's an old unit but I like to give them the option definitely repairable Make sure it's got gas. Don't want to do a repair if it doesn't have gas.
It's officially short on gas too. 500 standing pressure on an R22 system. No good. So for me, there's no LP switch. And even if there was, it wouldn't be tripped. Um, so there's no reason why it shouldn't be running. So even if it was running, that's going to pull down to be very low. So, all right, there's a couple of things we need to do here. We need to find out where the leak is. Because the standing pressure should be a lot higher than that for people that don't know. And yeah, if um, I, I just feel like it's got to the point where I love repairing things. I could definitely find a leak, fix it, gas it properly or whatever. And then board change if that's what we need to do. Like I said, I need to make a few calls to confirm that. But if that's the way they wanted to go, I could absolutely do it. But the cost is getting up and it's a, it's an old unit. So like you really got to start weighing it up. All right, no worries. Got all the info I need. I'm just going to have a quick suss in case they just opt to just replace it. And if they do, I can just come back and get it done. All right, that's, that's probably going to be the end of the video. So whatever happens, I'll make a video, whether it's repair or fix. So thanks for watching. All right, so it turns out that she's not even interested in repairing this thing at all which to be honest, I think it's a good idea. So I'm just gonna give her a price to replace the whole unit. Um, and yeah, if, if she goes ahead with it, I'll obviously make a video of that replacing the old girl. So anyway, thank you and see you on the next one. See ya.